Okay, let's dive right in here. So what I want to do is create a real estate um, greeting card campaign in like 10 minutes or less. Okay, so I'm going to create uh, 10 cards that are going to go out. Now, keep in mind the purpose of a greeting card. A greeting card is something that people enjoy getting in the uh, in the mail. It's something that they want to open. It's something that's uh, that enriches their lives and gives them value somehow. So. Although you could use a greeting card just for a simple sales pitch, um, it's better if you don't use it that way and use it more just to provide value and to build a relationship uh, with the per person you're dealing business with. So in the real estate industry, let me explain how we would do that there. So you just want to log into your account, go up to cards, and then go to campaigns. All right. So now we are going to create a new campaign and we're just going to call this real estate 2 all right and then here's my return address it's all there set up and then I want to come down here and create a new card for this campaign okay so the first card it's going to be my introduction card it's going to be the first card in this series and so we just hit intro and continue. Now what I recommend doing for this card is that you after you sell them the home you take a picture of the couple in front of their new home and uh, and then you can put that on the front of the card. So once you have that photo you can uh, load it to your library and then you want to go to the create a picture and you're I'm going to use a 7x5 greeting card like this here. I uh, I didn't just sell a home, so I don't have that photo of the couple in front of their house, but I do have some pictures here. So let's use the, the picture of this uh, this home here. Drag that there, and there we go. So here we've got a house that's just sold. And like I said, if you could have the the lovely couple standing on their front lawn, that would be terrific because then they can actually frame this photo um, because it's a really nice, high quality, glossy photo. All right, now we're going to go inside. And we're just going to say, you know, uh, congratulations on the purchase of your new home. And then, uh, you know, down here, it would be great if you could offer them some sort of gift. So, um, as a welcome gift to you, I've arranged a 25% discount at Sally's Salon on Ridge Road. So that's super easy for a realtor to do. All you need to do is walk around uh, to different businesses saying, hey, I'm a realtor in this business. There's a lot of new families moving in. I would love to drive some of these new clientele into your business. Would you be interested in providing me with some sort of introductory discount? So like I said, I'm sure Sally Salon would love to give you 25% off if it's going to bring a new client into her store. So you can do that for, you know, oh, you know, you can do it at the local garage, you can do it at a whole bunch of different businesses. And like I say, so what you're doing is you're just providing uh, your new home buyer with some value for a good reason to open up, uh, open up your greeting card when they receive it. Okay, it's just a really good personal touch and then it's a win-win situation. It's a win for you because you're providing value, it's a win for your uh, home buyer because, you know, they're getting a discount for a haircut and it's a a bonus for the local business because they're getting new uh, new clients. All right. So after you continue, um, you get to come to this page and you could uh, you could add a gift if you want. But we're just going to show you how to do the cards right now. So this initial this uh, first card is going to go out immediately. So you just leave that set to immediate, and then you uh, save the card and go back to the campaigns. Okay, so let's say you sold this house in the summer. There it is. It looks like a summer sale. Now you want to create a new card for this campaign. And this is going to be a, um, a winter prep card. Okay, so this time I'm going to show you what you need to do. If you don't want to use uh, one of your own photos, you just come down here to a Special Interest and then Business and then uh, Real Estate. 
There we go. And then we can click on this card here. So we hope that you enjoy your new home. Might be a bit late, but um, just I'm just sort of showing you how things work. And we're going to do a two-panel card again, <coughs> which is a 5 by 7 And so there's your cover up there. And then over here, we're going to say, you know, hello. And then we can personalize it with their first name. So you click on the insert name here, first name here, and then their first name will be inserted right there. All right. So then uh, you could say something like, you know, I don't know if you've eaten at... Mario's yet, but it's got the best Caesar salad I've ever tasted. So if you haven't checked that out, you should you should uh, make a reservation now. And then over here, again, you could add something more of value. You could tell them, like winter's approaching, you could advise them that, did you know that you can lose between 5 and $15 per window in heating costs if your windows aren't properly insulated? And then you can tell them that you can get a 3M insulation kit from any of the local hardware stores that, like I say, could save them in between five and fifteen dollars per season. Then you can even go a step further if you wanted and you can look in your uh, local ads and there's always guys in there that just do handyman work. You can contact one of those guys and say listen winter's approaching and I'm a realtor and I'm uh, advising my clients that they really should be insulating their windows. So if you could get adept at um, installing that 3M 3M insulation kit, I'd love to recommend uh, the business for you. Maybe you could work out something where they, you could provide them, they could provide, he could provide a good price for your clients and and like I say, everybody wins. They get their windows insulated, they save money, you know, you're providing value once again and you're uh, providing business to, to a local guy. Alright, so let's just, uh, so you know, you'd type that all in here, then you would click continue, you'd be prompted for a gift again and no no thanks just a card so you don't need any gifts and now this is going to be going out before winter hits right so now you set a specific date for this card to go out so this card's going to go out on november the what the 8th okay there you go so that card is going to go out on november the 8th and it's going to um tell them you know maybe they want to start thinking about insulating their windows and then just for fun, let's add a, uh, a third card. And so we'll create a new card for this campaign. This is going to be the, uh, the Christmas card. And continue. So again, I'm going to do a custom photo here. I'm going to do a greeting card 7x5 horizontal. And I'm going to look into the My Library and I'm gonna pull this picture across here and there we go there's the cover my wife and I and the horses and same thing so just uh, don't need any message there and down here just uh, you know your standard Merry Christmas from our family to yours happy holidays from Mike and Monique and the horses. There we go. Once again, it's just a nice card, something they can hang on their tree or whatever, and it's just keeping you in touch with your clients. So, again, no thanks, just a card. This is a Christmas card, so we're going to set a specific date for that, and we're going to want that to go out at Christmas time, so let's say November the 10th. There we go. Save card and go back. All right, so there we go. We've now got three cards in our, uh, in our campaign. Let's see. That took 9 minutes and 25 seconds to do that. So from... Uh, from there, what we're going to want to do is then we could do a, another spring prep card, just or a summer prep card, just like we did with the winter. We could advise them about uh, lawn care, 
Uh, one little trick that I like to share with people is we have uh, deer flies in this area, so I tell them about these really cool uh, deer fly patches that go on the back of your uh, baseball cap. And when the deer flies, those are the ones that buzz around your head. They buzz around your head, they hit that this two-sided sticky tape, and they stick to your hat, and they don't buzz around your head, they don't fly in your mouth anymore, and it's, uh, it's a pretty cool thing. So again, that's just something fun, uh, something that you can share that will add value. Uh, to your client. Now, so now you've got your uh, your campaign all set up. All you have to do now is go out and sell a home. So there you go. Do you go? You sell a home. Come back to the office. Ah, I clicked a button by mistake. Oh, I lost it. Go back to there. So you go out. You sell a home. You go to your contacts, and then you go to add new contact, and then you choose the com campaign. This was the real estate two campaign and you uh, just fill out the fields, their first name, their last name, their address, whatever contact information you have for their numbers. Um, important dates to remember, that's another field. You could send them birthday um, cards, uh, anniversary cards, type down their spouse's name, their birthday, just for your information so you can keep track and just stay, ah, just stay in touch with them that way. So then you uh, save and send the card. There you go you're done. So what you've done now is you've just set up a campaign where every few months you're going to be in touch with these people, they're going to remember you, they're going to like you, they're going to enjoy receiving these cards from you and so you just know that if uh, they ever want to refer a real estate client they're definitely going to be referring you. If they're ever going to sell their house they're definitely going to contact you. You know it's just a really good way to stay in touch. It's super inexpensive. Each one of those cards, um, you know, it's going to cost you uh, like two points per card, two to three points per card, so less than a buck for a card and, you know, whatever the 60 cents for a stamp. So you're looking at about a buck 50 uh, for each one of those cards and it's just uh, super easy to do, much more personal in email and it's really going to help you build your business. So there you go. If you have any questions about how send out cards work or if you want help with your marketing strategy using send out cards, I'm always here to help you. Casey's always here to help you and, uh, and that's what we're here for. All right, hope you enjoyed this and uh, look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye-bye.